Good afternoon from Universal Orlando Resort. It feels like Christmas. It does. Because it is. Well. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. We're heading in today because they have a lot of holiday offerings here at Universal. They have the Macy's balloons that we can do a walkthrough experience and see. They have a holiday tribute store. It's exciting. I am most excited for the tribute store, but I also heard that you can meet Santa at the balloons. Yeah. So I want Jackson to meet Santa. And there's all kinds of treats and there's a tree trail. So I don't think we'll make it through all of the holiday offerings this trip. So we'll have to come back for sure. Mm -hmm. But today we're gonna get some Christmas going, get into the Christmas spirit. Let's go inside. They've got a wreath up. This is nice because during Halloween, they didn't decorate the arches for Halloween but they decorated them for Christmas. We came a little bit later today. It's about 3.45 and it looks to be a busy day at Universal. It's also the day before Thanksgiving. All right, we've made it inside Universal Orlando. Looks pretty darn busy. There's kind of a huge crowd back there by Music Plaza. But I have a feeling that these are like regular day guests. They're probably not here to do the Christmas stuff. Right. If I had to guess, there's like two different sets of guests at the park. The, the ones that are here for the rides and the ones that are here for like the locals, you know, that are here for the new stuff. Yeah. So hopefully the other, the, the Christmas stuff will be quiet. First stop is the Universal Studios store. Also, I should mention they're blasting Christmas music everywhere around this park. Christmas is starting now. Yeah, it's getting you in the mood. <laughs> the whole reason we're going in here is because just like on Halloween when they had the scarecrow stock during Christmas, they're having a Christmas tree scavenger hunt. So a lot of different retail locations will have different trees themed to something specific. So like this one is themed like movies. I think it's just Universal Studios. Oh, okay, right? yeah, Universal Studios. Because it has like the arches. Well, I think they just took a shirt and put it in here. That's a good idea. Also, how do I get these like light up stars? These are great. They have almost like a, like a disco ball inside. Oh yeah, and you can see they're making lights up on the ceiling too. So, we're looking for the holiday tree hunt pamphlets. So we picked up our holiday tree hunt uh, map and this cost us $10.60 after tax. So we're gonna go around to all of the different locations, find our trees, get our stamps, and then at the end, we get to take home an ornament. This is the front and this is the back. And when you pick up your map, you actually get the bag that the ornament goes in but it's empty until you complete the trail. So in years past, this was free, but this year it's costing money, I think because they upped the prize to like a nicer ornament. We'll see how nice the ornament is at the end, but um, I hope it's worth $10.60. The good news is we don't have to complete this today either. Mm -hmm. We can come back multiple times and complete it at our leisure. But I feel like we may complete it today because we're gonna do the, the treat trail too, right? Are we doing that today too? Are we? I want to at least try some of them. Okay. We'll see. We'll see how far we get. So there's another trail around the park where you can try treats. Mm -hmm. And we're going to go over to Today Cafe and pick up that map and show it to you. That one is free except for the cost of the treats. Yeah, so you buy the treats that you're going to try. And then when you're done, you get a completer treat. Ooh. First stop on the treat trail, Today Cafe. I wonder what they have in here. I think it's a Christmas cake type. Item. I thought the top had an octopus on it. I don't know what that is. A, a ribbon maybe? A ski, a guy on skis? I can't tell. Oh, it's an ornament. That's what it is. So we're gonna try that one. Tim's getting it right now. Did you get your, your stamp? I got a stamp. Oh, it's a unicorn. Yeah. Makes sense. A pumpkin spice churro, I think it's like right here. Oh, is it? Yeah. So our very first thing from Today Cafe is the holiday wreath cake and there is zero information on what this is. <laughs> so we just got to figure it out. It's a cake. Who knows what the flavor? It's green, green cake. Oh, we have our, our reusable silverware. Yeah. It smells like mint. Okay. I think it's mint. So when I was looking at it, I didn't know from far away because I don't have my glasses on. I couldn't tell what this top design was. I thought it was a guy like skiing. It's not, it's an ornament. I was very wrong. All right, so let's see. It's so green. It smells just like mint. Okay. It's well, mint and buttercream. Oh, okay, that's yeah. good. It, it's actually very nice because it's the buttercream cuts the mint, so it's not super minty. The mint isn't like too much, you know what I mean? It's not like you ate a piece of gum. Okay. I like it. Sounds good. Yum. 
Little piece. That do not comply will be required to exit the resort. Wash your not hands so sure. and thoroughly. Come I like how their uh, their park announcement sounds like Harry Potter. I know, but it sounds like an angry Harry Potter, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, she's, she's means business. Like, what's her name? The Lady in Pink. The Lady in Pink. Oh, Umbridge. Yeah. <laughs> this is really good. They're also playing the NSYNC Christmas album, yeah. so we stand. Underneath the myth. I don't know the words. Is there a B? There's a B? <laughs> and everybody knows. Christmas time, Merry Christmas Eve. I know they're playing all the sad music. Okay, so really quick, show them your teeth. You're gonna have green teeth when you eat this. Just be, just be prepared. So we forgot to show you our holiday treat trail guide as well. There's five treats that we can purchase, and then we get a complimentary completer treat. All right, I gotta say, Universal plays some good Christmas music. And now we're headed into the Universal. Well, what is this store actually called? It's like the Hello Kitty Betty Boop store. Screen collectible. Oh, okay. It's called the Silver Screen Collectible. So we're gonna go check out their tree. I can see it. It's right there. We were wrong. It's the Hello Kitty tree over here that we needed to be looking for. Th this one looks much more um, impressive. Like it would be on the list, you know? Wow. So it's got some Hello Kitty like figurines and pillows, and there's donut ornaments and. All kinds of Sanrio character ornaments. I love this donut ornament. That is so fun. There's Hello Kitty, like plushies mixed throughout the tree. Karobi. Candy canes on top too. They're also selling the ornaments right here that are on the tree. And they're buy one, get one half off. See, this is exactly like what they did at Halloween. But at Halloween they had candy stands. Yeah. Here, they have Christmas ornament stands. I like it. They're smart. Good idea. What's this guy's name? Which one? I don't know. He's cute, though. I like how there's his butts on the back. Okay, so tell us, everybody, if you know who this guy is. Who is this guy? Tell us in the comments down below. Also, Universal? Oh my goodness. I need an adult. Something that I've always loved about this store in particular is that they have all of this really fun Hello Kitty merch that's like a mashup between Hello Kitty and other movies. Um, I love it. So cute. This one's super fun. I love this backpack. They have like the little kid's shirt and the plushie that's Hello Kitty in a little shark costume. And then they have this one over here too. Maybe what is it? E.T. one? Oh, check this one out. Hello Kitty mashup with E.T. How adorable. So when we were over in Universal Hollywood the last time they had this where you can make your own Hello Kitty headband. Yeah. And I've never seen it here. Ah, you can build a bow. It's almost like build a bear. All right, so we just had a team member clue us in on something back here by the studio audience, audience center and the first aid, which is, I don't even know how to, the front gates are kind of right over there. So off to the side, there's a nursing room and family restrooms back here, as well as first aid. Feels like you shouldn't go back here, but there is a nursing room and a family restroom. So you all know that I like to use Despicable Me Minion Mayhem as a crowd level indicator. It's a 90 minute wait right now. So it is definitely a busy day today. It is a 100 minute wait for Shrek. Now they are still down a theater because I don't think they're tearing down the Halloween Horror Nights house that's in there. It is rumored that they're leaving up the Halloween Horror Nights house that is in one of the Shrek theaters until next year. So that would equate for some of the long wait time. There's Donkey over there and our next stop on the tree trail is here at Ye old Gift Shop for the end of Shrek. I don't know what happened to the sign. But it's here. It's just saved by the bell. Which uh, I'm honestly pretty excited for this show. It looks interesting, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Ooh, look at this tree. Oh, look. It's like a little fairy flying around the top. That's Dallas, the obnoxious fairy. Oh. It's magical. Sorry. Oh, there's a fairy on top. This one is probably like the most beautiful one so far. Yeah. It's very intricate, too. What do you think, bud? Is there some armor? Look. Look at this cute Shrek doll. <gasps> this is where we should have got your Halloween costume. Oh, donkey ears. Yeah. Darn it. This is neat. Oh, and like a cute Fiona. 
And a cute puss in boots? And a cute donkey? And a regular donkey? No. <laughs> <laughs> this is neat. Do you think this chandelier is always here? Or is that part of the tree? There's like a second level up there. Look at that. Inside of this gift shop, you can buy bugs that you could eat. And we've had the barbecue ones of these before. They're kind of tasty, actually. And then you can get a cricket and a lollipop, too. Or if you want to just like normal candy, you can get normal candy, too. For $25, they have Trolls Santa hats. I really like this one. Is that guy diamond? I think it is. Is it? Yeah. I mean, it's pretty cool. Right? If it weren't, if it were a different time, I would try it on. Right? How's it going? And then there's Princess Poppy, so I think you can get Princess Poppy or Guy Diamond. I'm all right, I'm just chilling, saying hi. Nobody with no branch love? You don't get any branch hats? Next stop on our tree trail is here for the pumpkin spice churro. So this is from Production Central here. This is what this is called, the Production Central Churro Cart. I've never been and it's not actually a cart, it's a full building. But this is a pumpkin spice churro and some white chocolate icing. Oh. So I'm really interested. Should I try it without the icing first? Um, sure, yeah. Also, I just want to mention this was a $6 churro. So I think this tree trail, this tree trail is going to end up costing us a ton of money. I tasted like a regular churro. Just I, well, I don't think you got to the orange part. So pumpkin flavor is very slight, but it still has the cinnamon and sugar on it. So it's like a mix between a pumpkin pie and a, pump and a regular churro. Let's try it with some of the icing on it. It looks like bacon. This does? Yeah, like in the camera, oh. it looks like bacon to me. Good? That was really good with the icing. Yeah. I liked it. You wanna try it? I do. It smells like a red hot. I got a lot of the cinnamon, cinnamon scent. It doesn't really taste that much like pumpkin pie spice. Um, I don't know, it's not bad though. It's very slight. The icing is really nice with it. Yeah, the icing really makes it, doesn't it? Like very creamy. Yeah. Hmm. I don't know, I like it. I like it better with the icing. So much sugar. Yeah. I think that the idea is it's just more fun to go around and like try to find the treats and taste them all. You yeah. See that? Yeah. That's a lot of sugar. But I will say that the middle and the bottom part are definitely way more pumpkin spicy than okay. the top was. Yeah, I don't know. I probably wouldn't order this one again. I think this was too expensive for what it is. And my heart is racing from the sugar. So <laughs> and now we're headed back to the Universal Holiday Experience featuring Macy's Balloons. Basically, a walkthrough of last year's holiday parade. Featuring the screams of children. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Ah! Ah! All the other waits around the parks are super long. This one, five minute wait. All right. Buddy, do you hear that roller coaster going by? <laughs> one day you're gonna ride a roller coaster. Also, we turned on your Christmas lights. Goodness. This is awesome. Oh. It feels like we're walking through like a museum or something. I gotta say, I like, I already love this. Yeah. Oh, happy holidays. Happy holidays. I love the decoration. Thank you. <laughs> so these are all of the same balloons and floats from last year but they're just set here, not moving. And they have extra lighting on them and everything. This is magical. Can I just say, this is better than the parade. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. You don't have to line up and wait. You get a good look at all of them. This is really neat. There's Julian's present from himself. Whoa. They, the balloons are so large, seeing them up close like this. Wow. Like, look at how big this balloon is. I just didn't think that they were this big. I know. Like, they're huge. 
when you see them in the parade from far away, they look a lot smaller than this. There's one of the three little pigs up there. And this is their gingerbread house. Is this where Gingy lives? Look at this. Also, the mix between the donkey and the dragon is right here. You can come face to face with it right here. Wow. Oh, we're gonna go meet Santa. Buddy, you're gonna meet Santa. Are you excited to meet Santa? Yes. Do you even know who Santa is? Yes. Oh, okay, that's good. Everything is so large. In line for Santa, there's a better view of the donkey dragon baby and this little dolly hanging from a hot air balloon. Look at Jackson, there's Santa. That's Santa. Thank you. What do you think, buddy? excited for Christmas. Yes. Oh. What do you think, buddy? I think so. He has. Hello. And then oh this is the this is the float that brings Santa up. So this is the float that goes in front of Santa in the parade. What's that? What do you see up there? Whoa! That's a big nutcracker! It is! Wow! <laughs> so we just realized that where you meet Santa is in front of his float. So during the parade, he would be up on that sleigh right there. And here is his representation of how he flies around the world and delivers gifts to all the kids. It's pretty neat because you get to see all kinds of stuff that you wouldn't normally see during the parade. Like I didn't know that there were names all around the outside of this float here. You just get a, a more unique view close up. Well, you can see where the driver is in there. Like right there. Oh, we're walking out through snow. Wow. Buddy, snow. They love this song. Do you see it? I like this snow, it's so fine. See that snow? <laughs> yeah. Look at that, that's awesome looking. We're going through the snow, buddy. Snow time. So that holiday walkthrough was nice. It was very easy to do, comfortable. It was very like, I felt like I was in the holiday spirit. Yeah. It was very short though. I have to say though, I much prefer doing it that way than watching the parade. Yeah, it's very, very slow. It's slow, it's long. I just feel like that is the perfect way to do it. I really feel like they've really adapted to like this kind of new normal that the, you know, with not being able to do the parades. I love the way that they did that. Yeah, and also I think at other times, just not when we were there, but there are characters that are at each of the flutes. I want to come back, yeah. So somebody was telling us that if we come earlier in the morning that we might catch some characters. So I'd like to come back. Yeah. We have to come back anyway because there's no way we're going to complete the treat trail and the tree hunt. So right. we're going to we're gonna for sure go see that again. But right now we do have to go into the tribute store. I'm so excited. Oh, I also forgot to say, I loved the way that you get to meet Santa. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was awesome. And Jackson loves Santa. So. Let's see if there's a tree on the way to the tribute store. Ooh, look at the decorations around New York. Oh, did you know that there is a little, uh, like Easter egg here on the Metro Metropolis Tribune building? So normally there's a giant inflatable of Curious George up on the top. So there are no inflatables out this year. So what do they have? Uh, a Curious George plush. Close. What? A little monkey. Where? There it is. It's a little sparkly monkey. Oh, I love it. He's adorable too. I like that. That's a good idea that they did that. So here we are at the tribute store, which is actually the next spot on the Christmas tree trail. But we're looking for the squirrel in the tree I see him right now, but he's back inside of the tree at the moment. We have to wait for him to pop out. Do you see that gold ball with some silver coming through on it? Just above that. Also, I feel like this is the first year that we've known the name of this squirrel, and his name is Earl the Squirrel, and he's wearing a little mask. <laughs> That's pretty cute. So normally, he's causing trouble by biting through the light strands, but this year, He's telling everybody to be safe and wear a mask. All right, we are headed into the tribute store. 
right now. No weight at all. All right, we're headed in. I like that there's all of these little things everywhere. And, oh, it smells good in here. Did you notice that there are little Easter eggs all throughout here? So like, this is the Islands of Adventure Tower. That's Volcano Bay. These are the arches down here. And this is Hogwarts. It's a good thing, right? It's neat. And this is the Halloween house? No, just kidding. <laughs> it almost looks like it, doesn't it? This is nice. I like this. Yeah. It's very interesting because like not very long ago, this was the Halloween tribute store. So this is like a traditional German Christmas market. Playing some nice polka music in here. There's snow up on the wall. Oh, this is like one of those candle things where you light the candles and it makes this thing spin. It's just a giant version of it. Oh, okay, all kinds of Christmas ornaments. Look at these are like giant Christmas cookies. How fun is that? And these are gingerbread Christmas ornaments. Oh, and these come with cookie cutters. And then they have little toys, little wax toys. This is Santa. This is Moldorama. And they have another one too, don't they? Have That's a place? snowman, yeah. Okay. It's so funny because it feels like it's taking so long to make, but that really just took like 45 seconds. And there's the final product. Santa Claus, does it say Universal Studios anywhere? Nope. Just a generic Santa. Oh. These are called Vinyl Mates, and they have Marty McFly and Doc Brown. These are so interesting looking. Well, they have from the deal. This is a Doc Brown from Back to the Future 2. Interesting. Oh, and they have the Christmas ornaments for sale too. And Jaws socks. So we're headed into the next room and it's based off of the Grinch who stole Christmas, but this one is in German because we're coming out of a German market. So this is the cover to the book in German. And now we are in the Grinch room. I love that for the Halloween tribute store, they have the pumpkin wall and for here they have the gift wall. Oh yeah. With the Grinch. Oh, we can buy like a tiny Grinch figurine. Okay. Well, not tiny, it's kind of big, but it's not as big as this one. Oh, and they tell you there's a photo spot right here. Oh. This is very neat. Oh, this is the Grinch stealing everybody's gifts. And look, there's Max up there too. But this is the one that you can buy. A light up Grinch statue. Here's a fireplace in this room too. And you can get personalized stockings. Like this one's personalized to Cindy Lou Who. And here is the snowman moldorama. That's what the final product looks like right there. Oh, this one does say Universal Studios on the bottom. And each one of them is $6 for the Santa or for the snowman. I'm not sure if we showed these and the lighting's pretty bad in here, but these are the Christmas masks for Universal Studios. I like this buffalo plaid one. Oh, and I like this one with the lights on it. Not actual lights, but the, a photo or like a a drawing of lights. Look at the Christmas tree in this room. And I like that they have oversized ornaments on it. Like this, like a giant Christmas light bulb. We are headed over to the Harry Potter section. Ooh, it's a tight, tight squeeze through here. And then we're headed to Earl's, Earl the Squirrel's Holiday Tree Farm. It's so interesting because for Halloween, this was all Halloween Horror Night stuff. And now, it's all Christmas stuff. Oh, there's Fievel. Fievel. Oh yeah. William B. Hackenberg's Appliances, home of the official Hackenberg cat. What is this, what is that about? I don't know. Oh. What is this? Is that the cat that used to be the tribute store? Like, remember when it was the cat face? Oh, yeah. Is that kind of like a, a nod to that? Maybe. Dad. 
Santa Claus watching you while you sleep okay. since 1931. Oh, so Santa wait. Claus is younger than I thought he was. I feel like has Santa not? He's only been around since the 30s. Yeah. I didn't know that. And now we're in the Harry Potter Ooh, section. Beautiful. Isn't it? Oh, and this is where you would get the stuff embroidered. Wait, where's the tree for the tree hunt? Oh yeah, I don't know. Maybe in the tree uh, farm. Oh, okay, that makes sense. Oh, you can get like a like a little plushy Harry Potter or a Hermione. Is that Hermione or Ron? Looks like she has red hair. Okay. They have little Hogwarts villages. You can get, you can make like a tiny Hogwarts for your Christmas village. Uh, a little bit expensive though. On to room number four. That's Earl the Squirrel's tree farm. We're nuts about trees. And they have all kinds of Earl the Squirrel tree farm merch. Like you can get Christmas ornaments or shirts. Pretty awesome. Jackson loves the trees. Oh yeah. See, we love all the lights. You love the trees, buddy? Yeah. Also, this is where all of the treats are back here. Wow, look at the size of that cookie down there. It's so big. Oh, cookie dough trees. Those look fun. Chocolate oh, peppermint get, mousse you ornament. You can get the cake in here. Oh yeah, the holiday wreath cake that we got at uh, Today Cafe. And then these are the vegan brownies like we had for Halloween. These look so good. A gingerbread whoopie pie. So for Halloween, they had the beating heart gummies. For Christmas, they have just like light bulbs. And once you take them out of here, they don't stay lit. But they're just gummies. There's butterscotch, peppermint, and cinnamon. Oh wow. Ah, interesting. Maple pecan sticky buns. Ooh, they almost look like giant cookies, don't they? Oh, and then they have the different just the nuts too. Making them fresh right now. You can buy a hot chocolate bomb and Earl's Nutty Nog. These are the hot chocolate bombs. You put them in hot chocolate and they open up. Right before we leave, there is a photo op and you can see there's Earl. Like we said, he's normally biting the Christmas lights. There he is biting them. So we got a few treats. One of them is this hot chocolate bomb. So it's just like a, a chocolate ornament that we're gonna dump in some hot chocolate. Should I do it? Yeah. I wonder how long it's gonna take. Right? I say we just let it go. I know, yeah. Ah. Oh, 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 something's happening. Is it? Something's happening. Oh. Here it comes. Here it comes. Is it? Yeah, it's like sinking down in there. Should I push it? Give it a little push. Flip it over. Oh yeah, should I flip it? Yeah. There it is. There's all of our marshmallows inside. Beautiful. <laughs> that was a magical. It was a magical. <laughs> should I push it down? Steer it up. Steer it? Yeah, there it is. The ornament's all gone. Oh, look. And now there's just marshmallows. Oh, and they're like covered wow. with chocolate too. It's so thick. That's nice. This is like sipping chocolate. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm excited for it. Okay. After we got ah, after we got out of the tribute store, it's a little bit darker, and all of the lights are on, and the Christmas tree is all lit up. Also, it seems like the crowd has slowed down a little bit. This tree is so pretty. It really is. The like, video doesn't do it any justice. No, it really doesn't, and it's very it's pretty plain as far as decorations go but it's just so pretty. Oh, one thing to notice though, is that the stars that are on it match the style of the parade floats that we saw in the walkthrough experience. Ooh, oh, and also look, there's like three or four trees on top of the Macy's entrance over here. So we finished our hot chocolate. We haven't eaten the cookie dough Christmas tree yet, but the hot chocolate was really good. It was such like good quality chocolate, but it was so thick. It yeah. was like drinking. <laughs> Yeah, Jackson thinks so too. It was like drinking a melted candy bar. Yeah. Or but like melted ice cream. You know how mel you like drink oh, melted yeah. ice cream? It was like very, very thick. So if you're sharing it with somebody, I think it's a it's a good size. Yeah. But I think it's too much for one person. Like oh, it's yeah. it just how rich and thick it is. We'll give you a tummy ache. Yeah. But I think it's time for us to head out because it's getting to Jackson's bedtime. So I think we're gonna have to try our Christmas tree cone at home maybe. Yeah. 
But we'll also, I did want to say that I would recommend the hot chocolate. Yeah. Like, I would totally get that again. Yeah. It's interesting because the park is open until 9 tonight, and it's only 6 now, or 6.30. And it looks like the crowd is already thinning out quite a bit. Oh, there's stilt walkers up there. Exciting. There they are. The stilt walkers. Happy Christmas. Oh, yeah. Look at the Universal Globe. We're walking out perfectly. I love the mist. Oh, yeah. It looks so cinematic. I loved mist. The video game as a child. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> as we're leaving to the sweet, sweet sounds of NSYNC, all of the lights are lit up at the archway. They look beautiful. It looks awesome. So now we are back home and Jackson is asleep. Yep. And now it's time to try our little cone, our little Christmas tree. So this is basically an ice cream cone dipped in chocolate, but instead of ice cream inside, there is cookie dough, edible cookie dough. And we say like all cookie dough is edible, but some cookie dough has eggs in it. So it has the possibility of salmonella, but this does not have the eggs in it. So it is considered edible cookie dough. I get, sorry, the little sprinkles are coming off. It oh, has no. Christmas tree sprinkles, little gingerbread man sprinkles, candy cane sprinkles, and then just regular sprinkles. It's very cute. Yeah. You want to give it a try first? Um, well, I'm kind of nervous because you put it in the fridge. And I didn't realize that it actually has like a waffle cone on the outside. Mm -hmm. So is it going to be so hard? No, I don't think so. Okay, I'm going to try it. Because I don't think it was in the fridge for that long. All right. So bite it this way. Yeah. Okay. Nothing. Nothing yet. Just cone. <laughs> oh, no. Where does, the, where does the cookie dough start? I don't know. It looks like it starts way at the top. Hmm. Give it another bite. Let's see. Still no cookie dough yet. I'm getting closer though. Yeah, getting there. Okay. One more bite and I think you get cookie dough. <laughs> okay. So it looks like the cookie dough is only in the top half. I mean, the cone dipped in chocolate is pretty good. Mmm. Oh, it's a messy one. Mm-hmm. Was it chocolate chip cookie dough? Oh, that's nice. Mmm. This is very good. Is it? Yeah. Nice. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Let's see. Oh no. It's very messy. Mmm. <laughs> I like that. That's good. It's really good. And this seems like something that you could do at home. Just get some edible cookie dough. Oh yeah. And fill an ice cream cone and then put some chocolate on the outside. So the thing that I like the most about that Christmas tree treat was that you would expect it to be super sweet because it's chocolate covered cookie dough basically. Mm -hmm. It wasn't super sweet. Yeah. It was really nice. Like it had, a, it was a nice flavor balance. Like it was just sweet enough. Yeah. And it was easy to eat. I know that we, we were saying it was messy and it was <laughs> it messy. It was messy, yeah. But the pieces that fell off were big enough for you to like pick up and eat again. Yeah. So like as long as you're eating it over something, mm -hmm. it's not bad. Yeah, I think of everything that we had, I think that was my favorite. Mm -hmm. And then the cake, which was actually really good. Yeah. And then the churro, which wasn't really my favorite. Yeah, I agree. I really enjoyed going through the little exhibit. I'm going to call it an exhibit with the floats and the balloons. I really, really liked that way of seeing the floats. Yeah. And I also think that putting them inside of the parade building makes it a little bit more accessible for people that like can't stand for long periods of time or can't wait for long periods of time. Mm -hmm. It's nice. I think being able to meet Santa at the end of the little walkthrough was awesome. Jackson seeing all the floats, like you could tell that he was really enjoyed it. Yeah. But uh, I don't know, today was really, I had really a lot of fun today. Yeah, it was a great day at Universal. I missed the theme parks. I know we've been out of town for a week, so we haven't been to the theme parks for a week and I, I really did miss them. It was busy though. Yeah. So uh, just keep that in mind when if you are planning on coming to the parks around thanksgiving mm -hmm. it's a busy time of year i also think that it's um the time that we came was kind of a busy time so if mm -hmm. we had come earlier in the day i think that would have been better right but i don't know it wasn't it wasn't too bad though i didn't i didn't ever feel like unsafe and it was easy enough to maneuver around like the crowds so i felt good about it and we were doing things that other people were not doing right like we showed you all the times the wait times for the rides were really long but the it was only a five minute wait it wasn't even really a five minute wait there was no line to get in to see the floats mm -hmm. but it was i don't know i think what we were doing was like not what everybody else was doing you know right. so all in all fantastic day at universal studios and with that being said we are off 
and we'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to help. So today's organization that we'd like to shine a spotlight on is the National Inclusion Project. And we want to say thank you to Linda Learn for leaving a comment and sending this uh, organization our way so we could learn a little bit more about it. So their mission is to create an inclusive environment for all children so that children with disabilities will have the same life experiences. And they've made it their mission to make the inclusion of children with disabilities the expectation and not the exception. And the way that they're doing this is by working with community organizations and recreational programs providing them with training, tools, and support that they need so that children with disabilities can be included in all of their activities and all of their programs. Um, the work that they're doing is fantastic and no child should be left behind. So I'm just, I'm really happy that this organization exists and that they're doing such great work for the children. And if you want to learn more about how they're helping children with disabilities and how they're impacting communities, please check out the link in the description down below so that you can learn more. And spreading the word really helps out. So um, please check out the link and thank you so much for watching this video.